Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 26 on Laplace transform. From last several lectures, we are discussing how to find out inverse Laplace transform using partial fractions. And we are discussing different types of partial fractions. First, we have discussed uh, partial fractions corresponding to different linear factors. Then we have seen the case of repeated linear factor. And uh, today we will consider quadratic factor in the method of partial fractions. So we understand with the help of this example, find the inverse Laplace transform of the function s raised to 3 divided by s raised to 4 minus 81. Now if you observe, this is proper rational function, degree of numerator is 3 and degree of denominator is 4. So 3 is less than 4, therefore this is proper rational function. And the first thing we will check for every rational function is whether it is possible to factorize denominator function. Here denominator is s raised to 4 minus 81. So we can factorize this. We can rewrite this as square of s square minus square of 9. And uh, this is equal to s square minus 9 times s square plus 9 using the formula of a square minus b square. First I have written s raised to 4 as square of s, 81 as square of 9 and using the formula of a square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b and this further can be written as s minus 3 into s plus 3. And uh, s square plus 9 cannot be factorized further. This is irreducible factor. So we can see our denominator is product of three polynomials. These two are linear polynomials or linear factors. This is quadratic factor. So now uh, we can write down our function as a sum of partial fractions s raised to 4 minus 81 this is equal to s raised to 3 this I replace by s minus 3 times s plus 3 s minus 3 s plus 3 times s square plus 9 and corresponding to these two linear factors we have this type of partial fractions a divided by s minus 3 b divided by s plus 3 these two are linear factors so in the numerator of these linear factors we are writing constants another factor is quadratic factor of degree 2 s square plus 9 and we know that whenever we have quadratic factor in the denominator, we will write down polynomial of first degree. Suppose polynomial of first degree is written as c times s plus d. So we will always remember that whatever degree of polynomial is there in the denominator, uh, we will write down here polynomial of one degree less. If I have second degree polynomial in the denominator in the numerator I will write down polynomial of degree 1 suppose I have this type of polynomial here s cube plus say 1 0 3 then here in the numerator I will write down this type of second degree polynomial a s square plus b s plus c Similarly, if we have linear factor, then it is a polynomial of degree 1 and therefore we are writing polynomial of degree 0 which is constant. So that is the basic idea that whatever degree of polynomial is there in the denominator, you have to consider 1 degree less for the numerator. Here s square plus 9 is quadratic factor that is polynomial of degree 2. Therefore, we have written polynomial of degree 1 in the numerator. Now, our aim is to decide these constants a, b, c and d. So, for that, we multiply this whole equation by s minus 3 s plus 3 into s square plus 9. 
so we will obtain left hand side equal to s cube we are multiplying all these quantities by this product so here we have s minus 3 so with a we are left with s plus 3 and s square plus 9 and plus b times here s plus 3 is there so b will be left with s minus 3 and s square plus 9 and with cs plus d uh, we will be left with s minus 3 into s plus 3 and we give this number 1 as usual now we have two linear factors s minus 3 and s plus 3 so this will be 0 when s equal to 3 so first we take s equal to 3 in equation number 1 so this is going to be 3 raised to 3 that is 27 and for s equal to 3 these two terms will be 0 because they contain s minus 3 and here I have if I put s equal to 3 I have 3 plus 3 that is 6 and here I will have 3 square that is 9 plus 9 which is 18 therefore a equal to 27 divided by 6 into 18 and we can cancel out 9 here 9 into 3 and here 9 into 2 and again we can cancel out 3 also so value of constant a is 1 by 4 then we find out what is second linear factor it is s plus 3 so it becomes 0 when s equal to minus 3 so we put s equal to minus 3 in the equation number 1 left hand side is s raised to 3 and a cube of minus 3 is minus 27 so when s is minus 3 s cube will be minus 27 these two terms will be 0 because they contain s plus 3 and uh, we will have non-zero contribution from this term here we put s equal to minus 3 so b times minus 3 minus 3 that is 6 so b times minus 3 minus 3 that is minus 6 we have to write negative sign this is minus 3 minus 3 which is minus 6 this is square of minus 3 that is 9 plus 9 which is 18 so therefore b equal to this negative sign will cancel out and uh, we can see we have 27 divided by 6 into 18 and uh, this is what we had obtained for this capital A so value of b will also be equal to 1 by 4 so value of b is 1 by 4 now to obtain the values of c and d we have to compare the coefficients of equal powers of s on both sides of equation number 1 and because we are interested in the values of c and d we will first check that with c and d uh, we will be having which type of terms for example here uh, i have c s plus d into s minus 3 into s plus 3 so s minus 3 into s plus 3 can be replaced by s square minus 9 so that i will have idea that uh, which coefficient which terms containing s are with c and d so we can see now we can see that uh, c will be multiplied with s raised to 3 as well as it will be multiplied with s and d will be multiplied with s square and constant term so we can compare the coefficients of s raised to 3 in equation number 1 so on left hand side coefficient of s cube is 1 because we have only s cube here and if we observe in the first term i will have s cube at only one place if i multiply this by s i will have s cube then i will have 9s and then 3s square plus 27 so i will have s cube and into a so coefficient of s cube from first term 
will be a same thing here coefficient of s cube from second term will be b plus b and here also coefficient of s cube will be plus c so what we obtain 1 equal to a plus b plus c and we have values of a and b so in the next step uh, we are comparing comparing coefficients of s cube in equation number 1 we have 1 equal to a plus b plus c and value of a and b are 1 by 4 therefore 1 equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus c 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that is 2 by 4 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 and plus c therefore c equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 which is 1 by 2 therefore we have obtained value of c by comparing coefficients of s raised to 3 similarly we compare coefficients of s square or we compare constant terms to find out value of d here d will be multiplied with s square and minus 9 so either we can compare the constant terms or we can compare the coefficients of s square so suppose we compare coefficients of s square to obtain the value of constant d so in equation number 1 left hand side there is no term containing s square that means coefficient of s square on left hand side is 0 in first term we will have s into s square that is s cube plus s into 9 that is 9s plus 3 into s square so coefficient of s square will be 3 into a in the first term similarly in second term we can observe this if we multiply this by s i will have s cube plus 9s and if you multiply s square plus 9 by minus 3 I will have minus 3 s square into b so we will have coefficient of s square as minus 3 into b that is minus 3b and here with c into s we will have s cube and s and with s square we will have only d plus d so this is plus d so we have obtain that 0 equal to 3a minus 3b plus d by comparing coefficients of s square this was for s cube so if we compare coefficients of s square we will obtain this equation 0 equal to 3a minus 3b plus d 0 equal to 3 into a minus 3 into b plus d now a and b are equal therefore this is going to be 0 so what we have obtained d equal to 0 now we have obtained all the values of a b and c d all these constants are obtained so we now put all these constants in this equation value of a and b are 1 by 4 value of c is 1 by 2 and d is 0 so therefore our function is therefore s cube divided by s raised to 4 minus 81 this is equal to we have written s minus 3 then s plus 3 and uh, s square plus 9 coefficients of uh, sorry this constants a and b are 1 by 4 so we put 1 by 4 value of c is 1 by 2 so here we write 1 by 2 into s plus d which is 0 so let me check here here i put 1 by 4 here also 1 by 4 c is 1 by 2 and d is 0 s minus 3 s plus 3 s square plus 9 so now we have ready made formula for this this also and for this also this we can rewrite as 1 by 2 times s over s square plus 9 so therefore l inverse of s cube divided by s raised to 4 minus 81 
equal to 1 by 4 L inverse of 1 divided by S minus 3 is e raised to 3 T plus 1 by 4 L inverse of 1 divided by S plus 3 is e raised to minus 3 T plus 1 by 2 L inverse of S over S square plus 9 is cos 3 T. Okay, this we can write as 3 square. So, L inverse of S over S square plus A square is cos A T and A equal to 3 here. If we wish, we can further simplify this. Uh, we can rewrite these two terms as 1 by 2 times e raised to 3 t plus e raised to minus 3 t divided by 2. We take 1 by 4 common and we write 1 by 4 as 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 cos 3 t. And if you observe this bracket is nothing but cos hyperbolic 3 t plus 1 by 2 cos 3 t and again we can write by taking 1 half common we have 1 half times cos hyperbolic 3 t plus cos 3 t. So in this way we can have quadratic factors in our function. So whenever we have quadratic factor we will write polynomial of degree 1 in the numerator and for linear factors we are writing constants and then we have multiplied this whole equation by this denominator and we obtain values of a and b and for values of c and d we are comparing coefficients of s cube and s square and after that uh, we have converted our function this function has no standard formula for its inverse Laplace transform and we have converted it into those functions whose formulas of inverse Laplace transform are known to us. So using those standard formulas we are able to decide inverse Laplace transform of this function and we obtain this as inverse Laplace transform L inverse of s raised to 3 divided by s raised to 4 minus 81 is 1 half times cos hyperbolic 3t plus cos 3t. So this is all about this session. I hope you like this. Thank you very much.